the stock market crashing about a month ago with the crypto market following shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone. This is just another cash out, the biggest one since you know what, <coughs> for the elite market manipulators. Yeah, they're so elite, they have to take advantage of the masses and control the market they tell them to invest in. One thing I have repeated several times, and I will say it again, if someone is making money on the stock market, crypto, NFTs, someone else is losing money. Of course, we hear more success stories because the people in control of the media need everyone to buy in so that the rich can make their profits. You will never know the truth about so many people losing their savings or considerable amounts of money for themselves on the markets. Most of you guys know my opinion on cryptocurrency. I've done several videos on it now, referring to it as a Ponzi scheme, that the whole thing is a huge scam. And I even wanted to do a video on how I don't think Bitcoin mining is real. The psychos in charge can certainly monitor how much cryptocurrency you own, which opens up to the larger picture of knowing how various cryptocurrencies are distributed throughout the entire user base. They know how much crypto every single person has that exists. That means the elite know how many coins themselves the elite own versus how many coins the general population of gullible people has. As soon as they see that enough people bought in, you know, they tell, okay, you guys can cash out, crash the currency only to do the same thing over and over and over again. And I think that's a big reason why the NFTs came out and there's always some new cryptocurrency because they need the suckers to keep buying into something new and promising to get you rich. Cryptocurrencies melt down in a perfect storm of fear and panic. A steep sell-off that gained momentum this week starkly illustrated the risks of the experimental and unregulated digital currencies. The price of Bitcoin plunged to its lowest point since 2020. Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange, tanked in value. A cryptocurrency that promoted itself as a stable means of exchange collapsed, and more than 300 billion was wiped out by a crash in cryptocurrency prices since Monday. So in this first article, mainstream media is trying to paint the digital currency as unregulated. Biden endorsed Fed shock therapy. Why the $1 trillion Bitcoin, Ethereum, and crypto price crash could just be getting started. Bitcoin cryptocurrency prices have been hit by an almighty sell-off this month, wiping around $1 trillion from the crypto market since early April. Though Elon Musk surprised some by signaling his continued support. Crash could just be getting started. Hmm, I wonder what they mean by that. Is this predictive programming nonsense making anyone else vomit? The crypto crash is just the start. Is the US destined to have a recession in 2022? The American economy isn't looking great right now. US GDP shrank last quarter despite a hearty showing from American consumers. Inflation is high, markets are down, both wages and personal savings rate show some troubling statistical signals. Is the U.S. destined to have a recession in 2022? I don't know for sure, but there are nine signs that worry me. One, everybody's stock portfolio is disgusting right now. The Nasdaq is down 30%. Growth stocks and pandemic darlings such as Peloton and Zoom have crashed more than twice that amount. Hedge funds that back these growth stocks, including ARK and Tiger Global, have been crushed. If you look at your 401k, you'll see that, no, scratch that. You should under no circumstance look at your 401k. Do I really have to spell it out? Stocks are manipulated. Crypto is manipulated. Guarantee you all of the elite pulled out of the stock market and the crypto market before the crash. And then they'll just buy in and do the same thing over and over again, consolidating more wealth to the rich from the masses. And the biggest problem is you don't know when they're going to crash it. So they can do that 30% crash. People buy in, think there's this huge dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, you dipshits. And they crash it again because they need you to put money into it for them to cash out. 
it's, it, it's you know that's that's why I don't involve myself in the stock market and cryptocurrency. Yeah, there's a lot of people that got lucky or had an insider tip and got rich, but the vast majority, 90% plus, lost money. And that last article is a comical attempt at gaslighting. The government locked down the country, the world, every country's government, for their safety, and is claiming that there's a recession now. We've been in a recession for the past two years. The markets just haven't reflected it yet, and they will say anything to distract the general population from realizing they shouldn't be investing in elite-controlled markets. And if you look at, at how much money crypto has increased, how much money the stocks went down and up when all this nonsense started, how much they went down and up since then, the consolidation of wealth for some people is, is multiples, multiples, multiples. It's, it's actually crazy. And you don't know because you don't have the insider tips. Uh, so hopefully uh, this helps some of you guys out. Maybe you've lost money. Maybe you've gained money. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. But thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you guys can go to frank-stefano.com to support me through all of my businesses. Hey, imagine you have your you know, Latina baddie girlfriend wearing this Wi-Fi shielding sweatshirt and joggers. You won't be able to keep your eyes off of her. Thanks again for joining, guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow.